Hello children of class 2. Welcome to this week's video on computers. Today we will continue revising chapter number 3 input and output devices. Last week we revised about the input devices. Today we will revise about the output devices. What is an output device? Look here. An output device is show us the result or the output. They give us the result or the output. There are many output devices, but today we will talk about only four of them, these four. Monitor, printer, speaker and headphone. What is the importance of output devices? If you want to draw something in paint, you will use a mouse. But you need a monitor to see what you are drawing. If you want to type a sentence, you will use a keyboard. But you need a monitor to see what you are typing. If you are going to travel by train, you have to book a ticket. In the ticket counter, an uncle or an auntie will press some keys on the keyboard, but it is from the printer that the ticket will come out. If you want to listen to some sound, some music, watch a video on the computer, you need speakers for that. So this is the importance of output devices and now we will discuss about all these output devices in detail one by one. The first output device we will talk about is this, the monitor. The monitor is something which you have all seen. Even at such a young age, you must have seen a monitor somewhere. A monitor looks like a television screen, of course. One look at the monitor and you can say it definitely looks like a television screen. It shows us the text typed in and our work done by us. Also the final results. What does all that mean? It means that when you type something, it shows on the monitor. When you do some work with your mouse, you draw something, paint something, that also shows on the monitor. And if you do some calculations, you don't know how to do them, you will learn in higher classes, but not very difficult also. You will see the answers or the results on the monitor. The next output device I am going to talk about is the printer. The printer is used to print the text or pictures on paper. When it is on the screen, it is on the screen. When you have a printer attached to your computer and you print it on the paper, you have it on paper. The third point tells us that this paper is called a hard copy. Okay. So, the printouts that you take out, they can be either in black and white or color. So, this is what you do. You put in a white paper like this into the computer and when it comes out, it is printed like this. I hope I am showing it correctly. Yes, it is printed like this. And this as you can see is a color printout. There are three types of printers, dot matrix, inkjet and laser. Dot matrix printers are slow and noisy and not much used nowadays. Inkjet printers are cheap but the quality of their output is not very good. Laser printers are costly and they give very nice quality pictures. Now, dot matrix printer can only print text, not pictures. Inkjet printers can print both text as well as pictures. And laser printers also can print both text as well as pictures. But the print quality is better for laser printers. But they are often very expensive. If you have a printer in the house, most probably it is an inkjet printer. And if your father is talking about the printer in his office, this most probably will be a laser printer. Now, right up this, watch a small video 
in which you will see a printer in operation. First you will see some paper being put into the printer and then some commands will be given on the computer and one picture on the screen will then get printed on the paper. So happy watching. Speakers. Speakers are used to listen to music and other sounds stored in the computer. Now in the school, our computers don't have any speakers because in the school, in the computer room, neither you listen to music, neither you listen to any sounds. But your smart boards, computers, they have speakers. Now, one thing I like to talk about print uh, the speakers is that these speakers you need only with your desktop computer your smartphone your laptop your tablet they all have a speaker inside them okay so you don't need any extra speakers like these but a desktop computer usually doesn't have any speaker inside it so you need these to be connected to the CPU cabinet. So you are at home and you want to watch a movie on your computer. Well, no problem. Does your computer have speakers? Yes, no problem. But yes, there is a problem. Your father is in the same room and he wants to sleep. So how can you watch a movie on the computer with the speakers blaring loud music and sounds the answer is this the headphone headphones also let you hear sounds and music stored in the computer all you have to do is take one of these put them on your ears over your ears and connect it to the cpu and then happy listening so children with that i come to an end of to today's video. Today we revised lesson 3 input and output devices. We revised about output devices. Next week we will finish revising this chapter by revising about the storage devices. Till then, tata and bye bye.